Okay, before you can do anything in GarageBand with making loops and stuff, you need to have all those loops downloaded. Okay, so let me show you how that's done. I've got a student's MacBook right here, so let's take a look at this MacBook. All right, so, uh, and you can see a download is happening right now. It's huge, 1.84 gigabytes, and it's gonna be done in about nine minutes, but you need to have this downloaded or you're not gonna have the loops that you need to build songs. So to get these downloaded, you start GarageBand, and then you just come up here to the GarageBand menu, go to Sound Library, and go over to Download Essential Sounds. Okay, once you do that, then this little window's gonna pop up, and you're gonna have this. Just be patient, go find something else to do while you wait for this to download. Work on maybe a different tech too that doesn't require your MacBook. Just let it sit here and download. If you start doing things on it, it's gonna really slow down, and you can see it's a huge download, so you need to have that because you need all the loops and the beats and all those things and you can't do it without it. So it's just a necessary thing you have to do. Good luck.